Hi, it's Kit from the Tualta Public Library, and I've got to say, I love me a good chain reaction. Fun, huh? Today we'll be doing our own chain reaction. We'll use popsicle sticks and rubber bands and the concepts of levers to create an explosive reaction that will be fun to watch. All right, let's get started. All right, to do this project doesn't take a whole heck of a lot. All you need is some popsicle sticks, um, preferably the bigger ones. As you can see, they're flexible, and that's where we're going to use the lever action to do this. And then you'll need some sort of block. I happen to have a whole bunch of these snack boxes. Got those for a dollar per ten at the dollar store. And then some rubber bands. And that is really all. It's about how they get put together that creates the reaction. So the first one's going to be slightly different from the rest of them, but mostly the same. You're going to put a popsicle stick on either side of your block or pill bottle or case like I or snack case I have here whatever and then you're going to put a rubber band I like to wrap it around twice here because I want to get some good springy action now since this is the first one we're going to go ahead and put a rubber band on the other end this is what will keep our reaction from happening and we'll pull off that rubber band at the end to start the reaction All right you can see there's plenty of tension there and we only need enough room on one side for the popsicle stick to slip in. So we'll move that a little bit. And then we go and we'll start the next one um, the same way. We'll just grab our block and we'll put our popsicle sticks on either side of it. And we will take our rubber band and put it around the one end. Instead of putting our band around the other end, we're going to squeeze just slightly and slide it in between the two popsicle sticks from the previous. As you can see, that's kind of how it looks there, and it's pretty sturdy. The nice thing about this reaction is there's not a lot that can set it off unless you uh, somehow get a rubber band to break it or some such. So we're just going to do a few here more so you can kind of get the idea of how to, this will look. You want to make sure that they're kind of at right angles um, just to get some good length on your, your uh, reaction and to give plenty of place for the popsicle sticks to fly and they will fly so make sure there aren't any people right next to the sides of this um, or any animals that will uh, cause a problem um, as you can see I forgot to get another rubber band so I had to kind of hold this closed with my other hand but uh, you get the idea here we'll get this last one put together and get it rubber band and slid in and then I will show you just a tiny little reaction that will happen from all of this and then we'll go to the main event where I did a nice big long line down my hallway and had my daughter set it off all right and so you would let go of that rubber band on the end and there you go super fun. This is Kip from the Tualatin Public Library, hoping that all of your chain reactions are good ones. Bye! Oh.